Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss the concept of sequences and reference relationships. Now consider the following pattern of balls. Here you can see first layer has one ball, second layer has three balls, third layer has one, two, three, four and five balls, fourth layer has seven balls. Now let AM represents number of balls in nth layer so number of balls in first layer are given by a1 which is equal to 1 similarly number of balls in second layer are given by a2 which is equal to 3 number of balls in third layer are given by a3 which is equal to 5 and number of balls in fourth layer are given by a4 which is equal to 7. Now if the pattern is continued we get a sequence of numbers 1, 3, 5, 7 the next number will be 9 then 11, 13, 15, 17 and so on. Here the string of dots shows that pattern continues forever. Thus a sequence is a function whose domain is a set of all positive integers. Now in this sequence of balls we are getting all odd numbers starting from 1 now any general sequence is written as a1, a2, a3, a4 and so on. Then an, an plus 1, an plus 2 and so on. Where a1 is the first term of the sequence n is the nth term of the sequence and its succeeding term is n plus 1th term given by a n plus 1. Now let us see types of sequence. Now there are three types of sequences. First is arithmetic sequence. Second is geometric sequence. And third is Fibonacci sequence. Now let us see what is reference relationship. Now reference relationship is a formula which helps us in finding all the terms of the sequence. If we know some terms or facts about the sequence. Now in this session we will discuss Reference relationships for arithmetic sequence and Fibonacci sequence. Now let us see what is a Fibonacci sequence. Now the most famous example of a reference relationship is that 
which generates Fibonacci sequence 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, 55 and so on. Now this pattern starts with two ones and after this each term is obtained by adding the two terms preceding it. Now here first term of the sequence is a1 which is equal to 1 and here second term that is a2 is equal to 1. Now here the third term that is a3 is equal to a1 plus a2 which is equal to 1 plus 1 which is equal to 2. So here a3 is equal to 2. So here this term is obtained by adding two terms preceding it. Now two terms preceding the fourth term are a3 and a2. So fourth term that is a4 will be equal to a3 plus a2 which is equal to 2 plus 1 that is equal to 3. Thus a4 is equal to 3. Similarly a5 that is fifth term will be equal to fourth term that is a4 plus third term that is a3. Now a4 is equal to 3 and a3 is equal to 2. So a5 will be equal to 3 plus 2 which is equal to 5. Now a6 will be equal to a5 plus a4 which is equal to 5 plus 3 that is equal to 8. Now continuing this pattern we get a n plus 2 is equal to a n plus 1 plus a n that is sum of two preceding terms and this is the required reference relationship for Fibonacci sequence. Now if we put n is equal to 1 in this relation then we get a 1 plus 2 is equal to a 1 plus 1 plus a 1 which implies a 3 is equal to a 2 plus a 1. So we have a 3 is equal to now a 2 here is 1 and a1 is again 1. So the third term of the sequence is equal to 2. Similarly, we can put n is equal to 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. And here we will take all positive integers and we can obtain all the terms of the sequence. And now let us discuss arithmetic sequence. Now consider the above sequence of balls. Now we can identify the pattern from given terms. Now here first term is a1 which is equal to 1. Second term that is a2 is equal to 3. Third term that is a3 is equal to 5. Fourth term that is a4 is equal to 7 and fifth term that is a5 is equal to 9 and so on. Now here we can see that a2 minus a1 that is 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. 
Then a3 minus a2 is equal to 5 minus 3, which is again 2. Then a4 minus a3 is equal to 7 minus 5, which is also 2. And so on. Now here we see that each term differs from the previous term by 2. It means difference is common and this number is called common difference which is denoted by T. Thus, an arithmetic sequence is a sequence in which each term differs from the previous term by the same fixed number. Now we will derive the arithmetic sequence when the first term and common difference are known using reference relation. Now here we have a2 minus a1 is equal to d, a3 minus a2 is equal to d, a4 minus a3 is equal to d and so on. And if we continue this pattern, we get a n plus 1 minus a n is equal to d, which implies a n plus 1 is equal to a n plus d. And this is the reference relation for arithmetic sequence. Now, if we know the value of d, that is the common difference, and a1, that is the first term of the sequence, then we can find all other terms in the sequence using this relation. Now, here n is a positive integer, so we will put n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on and obtain other terms of the sequence. Now suppose we have a1 is equal to 3 and d is equal to 4. Now let us denote this equation by equation 1. And now we will put n is equal to 1 in equation 1. And here we have a 1 plus 1 is equal to a1 plus d which implies a2 is equal to a1 plus d. Now a1 is 3 and d is 4. So this implies a2 is equal to 3 plus 4. So a2 is equal to 7. And now let us put n is equal to 2 in equation 1. And we have a 2 plus 1 is equal to a 2 plus d which implies a 3 is equal to now a 2 is equal to 7 plus d that is 4 and this implies a 3 is equal to 11. Similarly, a4 is equal to a3 plus d, which is equal to 11 plus 4, which is equal to 15. Hence, arithmetic sequence a1, a2, a3, a4 and so on using reference relation is given by, now a1 is 3 a2 is 7, then a3 is 11, then a4 is 15, and so on. So in this session, we have discussed the concept of sequences and reference relationships. And this completes the session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.